Hey gang, welcome to lecture number 20. Can you believe it? Lecture number 20. We're just having so much fun. It's oh, it's hard to believe. All right, we're going to continue with the gas laws. I guess this is part three. Charles law. Remember Charles? Charles, Chuck, can't take the pressure. So constant pressure in our gas law, we get rid of pressure. So we have V1 over T1 it equals V2 over T2. This ratio is a constant. Remember, V could be in any units, but T must be in Kelvin. All your calculations must be in Kelvin. All right, so watch what I do. If you recall, the conversion from Celsius to Kelvin is you just add 273. So for my problems, on my exams, listen to me, I make the conversion very simple. You do not need a calculator because I want you to work quickly. Okay, I'm not trying to kill you. Well, I'm trying to kill you, but not that. All right, let's look at this first problem. A gas is held at constant pressure. Charles can't take the pressure. Suppose the initial temperature and volume are 527 degrees Celsius and 40 milliliters respectively. So I want to know the new temperature in degrees C if the volume is doubled. Now look, the first thing we say is, well, you just told us it's a direct relationship. V over T, they have to change the same. So if I double the volume, the temperature changes. Well, look, there's the temperature, 527. Just double it. But no, that's wrong. Remember what I said initially. All calculations must be done in Kelvin. So we need to convert 527 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. Now, I want you to notice, I always put a 27 there. Because when you add it to the Kelvin, it converts very nicely. Okay. All right. So to get degrees, to get Kelvin, what do we have? Kelvin, you need 527 degrees Celsius plus 273. Okay. So if we add this with this, we get that 527 is equal to what? 800 Kelvin. So this is the temperature we need to deal with. Kelvin, 800 Kelvin. Once again, I made this a 27, so when you add with 73, you'll get a nice even number. That's so nice. Isn't that nice of me? All right, so here's what we're doing. Got it? The temperature is 800 Kelvin. So let's watch. Now we can use this relationship. If the volume is doubled, volume is doubled, what happens to the temperature? Well, the Kelvin temperature doubles. So that means the new temperature Kelvin is what? 800 Kelvin. Now we multiply by two. So we get 1600 Kelvin. Is that the answer? No, it's not the answer because I want the answer, the final answer, in Celsius. How do you go from Kelvin back to Celsius? Well, you just subtract 273. So I'm going to subtract 273. And what do we get? I think we get 1327 degrees Celsius. That's the answer. It's the answer to the first one, okay? Once again, all calculations must be done using Kelvin. Convert Celsius to Kelvin, all right? Everybody have that, all right? So 2 times 800, 1,600 to go back to Celsius, subtract 273. Bye. Next one, triple. What are we doing? We're tripling 800 Kelvin. Remember, we got to work in Kelvin. Times 3 is 2,400 Kelvin. Is that the answer? Remember, we're tripling the volume, so the temperature must triple, but it must triple in Kelvin. Remember that. So we triple the Kelvin temperature, we get 2,400 Kelvin. I want the answer in degrees Celsius, so what do we do? We subtract 273. What do we get? We get what? 2127 degrees Celsius. That should be the answer. You check my math because, you know, I'm, I'm not that good at math and, you know. But I want you to be able to do these in your head. I really want you to try to do them without a calculator. Try, try, try to connect neurons. Try to practice. Getting the right answer when you do these initially isn't important. I want you to understand how to do it. 
okay? And if you keep drilling, keep practicing, you'll be able to do these gas flows. They're so easy. Again, I make them easy because of the conversion is very simple. All right, next one. Isn't this fun? Have. What am I doing to the temperature? Well, again, the temperature is not 527 Celsius. Well, it is 527 Celsius. But all calculations to use uh, Charles' law must be done in Kelvin. So once again, 527, we said, was 800 Kelvin. Right? Now, we're having that times a half. Okay, so that's 400 Kelvin. Is that the answer? No, it's not the answer. That will certainly be one of the choices on your exam. But again, if I say I want the answer, the final answer to be in degrees Celsius, what must you do? You must subtract 273. Fantastic. All right, so if we multiply by a half, we get 400 Kelvin. Now we subtract 273. What do we get? We get, I don't know. What do you get? 127 degrees Celsius? I believe that's correct. Once again, check my math. All right. 127. So that's the answer in Celsius. All right. One more problem. Same idea. Same type of thing. Once again, I'm going to ask you to try to do these things in your head. A gas is held at constant pressure. Okay. Constant pressure. Who can't take the pressure? Charles. He's a weakling. Charles cannot take the pressure. Okay. So Charles' law, constant pressure. Suppose the initial temperature and volume are 127 degrees Celsius and 60 millimeters, milliliters, respectively. What is the temperature in degrees Celsius if the volume is double? All right, 127 degrees Celsius. What do we do? We add 273. 273 plus, plus 127, so this is 400 Kelvin. Again, I make this a 27, so you can do all this mathematics in your head. I try to make it easy for you, all right? 400 Kelvin. Now, what are we doing? Doo -doo -doo. We're taking 400 Kelvin, doubling it, so we get 800 Kelvin. Now, the answer back in Celsius, what do we do? The answer to go back in Celsius is we subtract 273, and that should be, what, 527 degrees Celsius? Again, I hope that's right. And then finally, we're going to triple, triple the temperature, which was 400 Kelvin. So if we multiply this by 3, we get 1,200 Kelvin. Oh, this looks easy. Again, to go back to Celsius, minus 273, and we get 927 degrees Celsius. Voila. And that is the gist of how we do Charles' Law problems. Now, let me just quickly mention, because they're identical, the problems are identical when we do Gay-Lussac. Okay, remember Gay-Lussac? Remember, that SAC cares about volume. Gay-Lussac cares about volume. So it's constant volume. If we take the gas law, PV over T, and take out V, we're just left with P1 over T1 is P2 over T2. Once again, it's a direct relationship. The problems for Gay-Lussac are identical to the problems that I would give for Charles' law. Okay, so suppose I say initially, okay, initially the pressure initial, doesn't matter, is uh, 80 atmospheres. And the temperature initial is 427 degrees Celsius. Once again, you see what I've done? I've made a 27, a nice, easy number. Now, I'll take this problem and I'll say part one. What happens? What is the final temperature? What is the final temperature? You guessed it, in degrees Celsius, in degrees Celsius, 
if the pressure is a doubled, okay, and B tripled, I don't know. Okay, so take time, pause this, and let's see if we agree with the answer, okay? I'll try to work it out with you. You see, the problems dealing with Gay-Lussac constant volume are identical in nature as the problems when we did Charles' law. Instead of the pressure being a constant, we have the volume being a constant. All right, so 427 degrees Celsius. What do we do? We add 273, right? We want to get Kelvin. All calculations must be done in Kelvin. If I add 273, what is that? Is that 700 Kelvin? Okay. So part one, what am I doing? Part, I mean part A. Part A. We're doubling the temperature. Two times all calculations in Kelvin. 700 is 4. 1,800 Kelvin, and we want the answer again in degrees Celsius. What do we do? Come on, what do we do? You can do it. Do it in your head. Come on. All right, subtract 273. All right, that's two. That's 127, 1127 degrees C. I think that's the answer. Okay. Next one, let's triple. Triple S, three times 700 Kelvin. Again, three times 700, right? We got to triple the temperature, not this temperature in Celsius, but the Kelvin temperature, right? And we get what? Uh, 2100 Kelvin. What do we do? We subtract 273. What is that? Nine, that's uh, uh, 1927 degrees Celsius. Check my math, make sure I did it right, but just subtract, okay? So, to review, both uh, uh, Charles' law and Gay-Lussac, their direct relationships, all calculations must be done in Kelvin. If I give a problem like this on an exam, I will always give a 27, so you can do a very quick, rapid conversion double, triple, et cetera. So you triple or double or all the calculations in Kelvin, get that answer and then subtract, subtract then 273 to get the final answer in Celsius. Because usually I'll ask for this conversion. I want the final answer in Celsius. All right, so the gas laws are pretty easy. Boyle's law is an inverse relation. If you double the pressure, the volume halves. If you decrease the pressure by 30 times, then the volume increases by 30 times. Gay-Lussac and Charles' law, they're both uh, uh, direct relationships. So if I triple the volume, the temperature triples. If I triple the pressure, the temperature triples. But it only triples in degrees Celsius, uh, degrees Kelvin, in Kelvin, not Celsius, not Celsius. Always convert to Kelvin. So gas laws always convert to Kelvin. The pressure can use any units. The volume can use any units. But the temperature must be in Kelvin. All right. See you next time. Stay safe and have a good one.